So Charlie, this is very different to anything you've done before. This is very different to anything anyone's done before, I think. This movie is a, a really unique thing. But yes, for me specifically, uh, what an opportunity to get to work with Guillermo and, um, and get to do a character like this. Uh, I feel pretty lucky to do it. What did you think of the script when you read it? Well, I, before I even read the script, I met with Guillermo and he had shown me drawings and pictures of, of this world and what he was imagining. Um, and it was very helpful because I think if I hadn't seen that, I, I wouldn't have been able to really understand the scale of the movie just based on the script. Um, but when I read the script, uh, I, I knew that, uh, that it was a very different movie, very, uh, uh that I love the fact that it was a new world, you know, this wasn't, um, a, a movie we'd seen before, this, this isn't, uh, 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 based on a comic book that we all know, it's, it's its own world, and, um, and then over the course of the, of, of the making of the film, uh, just getting to know this world more and more, I just fell in love with it. A world where we suddenly receive giant monsters and we create these huge robots to fight them. But you play a scientist who's figuring out how to, how to beat these monsters. True. So much of this movie is uh, brawn uh, fighting these monsters, and, and, and my character is the brains fighting the monsters. Um, and I, my character has very radical theories about uh, other ways that we can stop these attacks. And um, I'm not getting much traction on, on those theories, and so I take it into my own hands to, uh, to, to do something about it. So it's a, it's a different tactic, and um, you know, the movie is all these different ways that we come together to defeat these creatures. So what kind of a man is uh, Dr. Newton Geiser? Well, he, he's an arrogant little jerk, I think, uh, when you meet him. Uh, he's real cocky and, uh, and uh, real proud of himself. And then he kind of learns a lesson and turns a corner and, and grows up a little bit. Um, but uh, I think he's a little insecure. And so uh, I think uh, he, he resents the typical lab coat science uh, stereotype, so he... Tr he tries to consider himself rock and roll, but he'll never actually be very rock and roll like, like the Jaeger pilots. So, um, uh, y you know, he's a, he is a quirky little guy and, and uh, he's got his problems, but, but uh, deep down he's, he means well and uh, he does good. And he has an interesting relationship and banter going on with another scientist, Dr. Herman Gottlieb, right? Yeah, play, uh, played by the amazing uh, Bern Gorman. And uh, it's a love-hate relationship. They're paired together, and, uh, and, and Bern probably represents that stuffy, stereotypical, lab coat-wearing scientist, which, uh, which even though Newton, that's what he is, he just doesn't want to be that. And that leads to some moments of humor. Also, we have Ron Perman, though. Which was... Uh, Unexpectedly humorous. Uh, you know, who knew Ron was so funny? Um, yeah, there's some great uh, humorous moments between the characters, and uh, that's set on some real tension. And uh, it's a it's a wonderful uh, back and forth between uh, let's let's have a laugh, and then uh, uh oh, these people are in some real trouble. And how did you prepare him? Guillermo had me listen to a lot of punk rock, <laughs> which was just fun. Um, and then he had me read uh, the works of um, many conspiracy theorists, uh, lots of lots of people who believe in aliens and that they've been here. And uh, and then it was mostly just conversations with him about who the character was and and how to bring as much of myself to him, and then where to not be myself. And uh, and it, it was an ever evolving thing. And then what was Guillermo like on set? Guillermo is uh, is a larger than life character in, in life and on set. Um, it's like working with a, a director who is as big a star as the stars or bigger, like uh, what I imagine it would have been like to work with Orson Welles or Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, he's in, infectious with his love of, of what he does. Um, he is in incredibly disciplined and talented and uh, but he's also a kid at heart and it's for an actor it's, it's just great to work with someone who's that passionate and talented 
And these were real sets built in Toronto. How was the experience of uh, shooting the movie in Toronto? It was thrilling. My fear was that uh, I would just be standing in front of a green screen for months, and I barely ever saw one. Guillermo built these incredibly elaborate, detailed sets. Uh, they were massive. They were packed with, with extras, and uh, oftentimes I was on the streets uh, where he had built four city blocks, and it was always raining, and there were 500 extras screaming and running, and there were dogs and chickens, and everything uh, was built with such detail that... Um, it was really like stepping inside the world and getting to be completely immersed uh, in in the scene. Um, at each time I, I, I went to work, it was a different set, which was uh, each set is a work of art. It's um, it, it was really uh, the scale of everything and the detail of everything was something I never even thought I'd experience in, in making films. And speaking of that scale, you, we have these amazing, huge monsters and these robots built to fight them. But at the same time, Guillermo's paying a lot of attention to the characters' arcs, to the emotional stories, to the small details, as you said before, right? Well, he really has put a lot of attention to the small details. And ultimately, it is a movie about humanity and how, how this sort of ragtag group of people come together to save the day. And you have these great fight sequences between the, the robots and the monsters, which are very cinematic in nature and entertaining and thrilling. But you have these great flawed humans, like uh, you know my, my character and uh, Idris Elba's character and Charlie Hunnam. And, and these people who are struggling. And, and when you can make a film that, that combines both the, uh, that human element and then the fantastical element and, and, and really pay attention to both aspects of the story, you make a great, a great movie. And these monsters are actually more intelligent than we may think, right? And your character, one of his missions is to figure that out. What I discover over the course of the film is that these, are, that these monsters are more than just big, dumb, giant things crushing our buildings, but that they have uh, uh, intent and uh, strategy and that we need to adjust our strategies and, um, and that they really uh, uh, are, are more terrifying than we'd uh, imagined. You were mentioning how lots of the sets were practical and that you didn't have to do that much with special effects, but the fact, whatever you did, how comfortable were you? Because that's also kind of new for you. Guillermo made it easy. Uh, like I said, oftentimes, if I was in an environment, uh, you know, there's one scene where I'm, I'm in a shelter, a, sort of like a bomb shelter, hiding from these things, and they built a shelter, and they packed it filled with people, and the roof was literally shaking, and dust was coming down. So it was uh, very easy to believe that you were in that environment. Um, and, uh, and... I, I was I was comfortable with the parts of it that were acting. Uh, you know, it is at a certain point you're just performing like you would anything else, and uh, I know how to be terrified. <laughs> and you're surrounded by great actors. What do you think? Um, you know, Charlie Onman and Idris Elba, uh, Rico brought to um, brought to this film. Well. <sighs> It's such a great cast in terms of uh, almost everyone is either on a cult television series that uh, people are in love with, but uh, everyone is such an interesting and talented and unique individual, and I think Guillermo sought that out. Uh, he, you know, Idris is is uh, an incredible actor, and Charlie Hunnam is, um, uh, you know, a beloved actor as well, and, and then you have Ron and Rinko, and uh, it's a really special group and I think I think uh, no one's too overexposed yet um, I mean everyone's got a great career but you're not you're not sick of anyone um, so it's fun to watch certainly when I when I see the movie I really enjoy watching their performances and uh, everyone does a great job